I didn't see the announcement when it happened. I just could feel yeah. it. I could just feel it from following you on Instagram. And I remember yeah. telling my wife, I'm like, I don't think Chris is with Strange anymore. And during right. that time, I also had made the decision to go independent and to not do my future business on Rhymesayers. And I've heard you say, I didn't leave. Like we need a different language than that. Like if, if you grow up in your parents' home and then eventually you go to college, you go start your career, you have your own family, you don't say like, why'd you leave your parents? It's like, it was just time for me to be my yeah. own person. I know that before I told them that, I mourned and grieved like it was a death, man. Woo! Me like it, too. Like Ali. just knowing that like these amazing nights that we've had together that make us who we are, we might not have those nights again. You know what I'm saying? It was a really deep mourning and grieving thing for me. me too. And I wonder what was oh, that man, like for you? I'm the same thing. I'm still doing it. Mm -hmm. I don't talk about it. I, I wouldn't even ever talk about this if we weren't talking right now. Um, mm -hmm. in the way that I'm talking about it. I still do. Mm -hmm. I talk about this in therapy. Mm -hmm. This is ingrained in my DNA. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. cried and cried and cried and cried. I cried for a whole week Yeah. before I talked to Tech and Trav. Yeah. I cried for a week because I had already on, in Red Rock said I was coming back. Uh, and yeah. then months later, I was like, you can't, I, I just can't. I like, yeah. I tried and we made this whole thing and I'm going to, I can't, I have to jump off the cliff here. I wanted to explore that. Mm -hmm. Who am I? What am I as Chris Calico? Mm -hmm. I feel like I have a certain worth and I want to go figure out what that is. Right. And I actually, I've never said this, I can't totally stretch my legs here. I have to go figure it out myself. I have to. I was scared. I was yeah. terrified. Yeah. Do I even survive? Do I fall off the cliff? I needed much more time. We did 200 shows a year. Yeah. My children were growing up in front of my eyes. Yes, sir. My son will be 17 this year. It is my job to usher him into manhood. I got to be right. here to do it. Right. I can still right. tour, but I'm not going to tour as much. And I'm going to do shows, but I can't tour as much because I have to usher him into manhood. Mm -hmm. Because what, what good is it for me to be this guy and touring and do all this stuff and people screaming for me? And then my son grows up and does something foolish, which he still could. But, you know, he just he didn't have that person there. One thing that I saw in the last 20 years doing this was that everyone's children were suffering. Man. They were suffering. You know, Bill Withers one time, you know, Bill Withers just walked away from touring. He said, I'm not yep. doing this. And he said, the managers and the owners, their kids go to Yale. The artist kid go to jail. 100%. Quincy mm. Jones told Tech, you're either going to have a successful career or successful relationship. It's not going to be both ways, but you got to decide. You That's what he says. You got to be good. To, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Right. Yeah. I, I see your quits, Jones. I like what I brought to the table. I can bring to my own table. Yeah. I heard somebody make a quote and say, man, you know, I just want a seat at the table. Well, I did want a seat at the table forever. And then I got to the point where I want my own table. Right. I want to make all of the decisions. I want to make all of the money. I want to make all of the money. I don't want anybody dictating what I can do anytime, when I have to go, when, I, when I'm when i going to tour, you know, how much money I can make. And any label that you're at mm -hmm. is possibly dictating that. Not that there's mm -hmm. some big bad monster or nothing, but it's just they're going to dictate that. And so I want to be the dictator. I am favored. Yes, sir. I'm favored. That's right. I am That's favored. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And and everybody doesn't have this opportunity mm -hmm. to go through all of mm -hmm. the struggles mm -hmm. that I've mm -hmm. gone to. Mm -hmm. Everybody doesn't have the opportunity to learn everything that I've learned in this industry. Everybody doesn't have the opportunity. Everybody's creative in their own way. 
but able to display it to the world like I've been able to do. I'm, I'm, I'm being favored. Yeah. And it's my responsibility to use that favoritism that I have with God's universe to help folks, mm -hmm. music or talk just with my words, with communication. One of the other things I know is that Tech Nine knows that about me. He never looked mm -hmm. at it like, dude, you're gonna fall. He was like, if anybody can do it, it's you. The most non-hater dude that I know. This is Tech Nine calling me right now. That is hilarious. Hold on one second. Dude, before you say Gosh. anything, I am on the air live talking about you to Brother Ali right now. You on speakerphone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, right, equal my salam, good brother. <laughs> That's so hilarious, dude. I'm literally telling our life story right now. I forgot where I was even at in the story. I just <laughs> tell brother Ali, I said love, man, much love. Go ahead and finish that, man. I just want to give you a heads up. All right, right on. One thousand. All right, peace. So for everybody on my TikTok channel, that's mm -hmm. like, do you still talk to tech? There you go. <laughs> <laughs>